Hey guys, hi. Once again, welcome back to the session and this is your master DJ Harsh Priyam and I am in front of all of you with a new chapter. Yes, you heard it right. And today's chapter is area related to circles, ARC. So people, we are going to talk about this chapter today. Before this, we have completed all the chapters. I guess you might be knowing ki haam logo ne circles bhi complete kar liya, which is very much important for this chapter. So now we'll be doing area related to circles. ठीक है तो चलो लेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मच फर्दर टाइम हेयर वी गेट इन टू द सेशन सो हेयर वी गो नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग लेट मी टेल यू दैट इन दिस चैप्टर द पेरीमीटर एंड एरिया ऑफ सर्कल दिस इज दिस होल्ड्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट बट मूविंग अहेड मूविंग अहेड दिस चैप्टर आल्सो हैज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फिगर्स so if i say combination of figures it simply means question related to where you have a say for example that a rectangle is there and in in that rectangle there is some semicircle is also made something like that these type of figures where you have two figures combined or three figures combined and then you have to find the area so this also holds a very important part in this chapter from where majority of the questions are asked in the board examination so kindly take care of that portion as well but before starting but before getting into that we should start from the basic things isn't it like what is perimeter of a circle what is area of a circle so perimeter i hope you all might be knowing 2 pi r area is pi r square all of you might be knowing this moving ahead so this is 2 pi r very simple this is 2 pi r this is area is pi r square what is pi so i don't think i need to tell you what is pi like pi is simple thing uh, it's uh, you can say ratio of circumference of a circle divided by diameter of the circle that is the definition of pi although we have to just understand that pi is equals to 22 by 7 or 3.14 that's it we don't have to get into so much details moving ahead area of sector so area of sector formula everyone should remember that it is theta by 360 into pi r square this is the most important thing so please do remember that okay apart from that even there is a formula for area of sorry length of the arc of this sector so if someone ask you what is the perimeter of sector or length of this arc so for that the length formula is pretty simple what is that length formula that length formula is let me just write it down so this length for this apb i am going to write theta by 360 into 2 pi r theta by 360 into 2 pi r see earlier what we were doing we were doing theta by 360 into pi r square for area area of the entire in entire circle into theta by 360 now we'll do theta by 360 into complete perimeter so that will give me the length of this arc fine now moving ahead so theta by 360 into 2 pi r as what i said next thing this is about segment now what is the segment of a circle so the segment of a circle is that here you have so say for example if you join this wait a second sorry looks like it's not working yeah so say for example you have this we have joined this so this is a complete sector having an angle theta but in this sector we need area of only this minor segment this means that from a sector i should remove this triangle isn't it so that is the formula that first of all you write the area of sector that is theta by 360 into pi r square and minus half r square sin, sin theta is the area of this triangle half r square sin theta so please remember this that this half r square sin theta is the area of this triangle and that needs to be subtracted okay fine moving ahead let me tell you this half r square sin theta can also be written as there is one more formula for this half r square sin theta which is the area of triangle which we subtracted so this can also be written as equals to r square sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 r square sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so that is the that is the area of triangle i hope you understood that mm -hmm. chalo moving on this is the first question so let's practice it here we go for the first circumference of a circle is given 22 cm so circumference simply means 2 pi r given 22 cm find the area of its quadrant so first of all let's find radius 2 pi is nothing but 22 by 7 radius we do not know equals to 22 22 22 gone and hence very easily you can find out radius is 7 by 2 once you find radius is 7 by 
you need to find quadrant quadrant area we all know it's pi r square by 4 so that is 1 by 4 pi is 22 by 7 into radius square so radius is 7 by 2 so we will have 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 very simply what do you get you get 7 7 cancel 2 will cancel it in 11 times 11 into 7 and divided by 4 into 2 so we have got 77 upon 8 77 upon 8 is the final answer so if you want you can write it down 9.625 something around that if you want you can leave it out okay <clears throat> so the final answer 77 by 8 you can leave it here also or if you want you can make it decimal 9.625 something around that it will come fine got it Chalo, let's move on here's the next question what is the diameter of a circle whose area is equal to the sum of areas of two circles of diameter 10 and 24 centimeter question is saying what is the diameter of a circle means basically we have to find the radius of the circle whose area so area of that circle that is pi r square is equal to is equal to sum of the areas of the circles having diameter 10 and 24 so that circle which will be having a diameter of 10 surely the radius here will be 5 so what would be the area pi into 5 square plus the circle having diameter 24 the radius will be 12 yeah so here the area would be pi into 12 square so question is asking that what is the value of r square if this is the equation so very simply pi 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 gone taken common so you have got r square equals to 5 square plus 12 square don't you feel it's a pythagorean triplet huh so 12 square plus 5 square is undoubtedly 13 square 169 just calculate it so hence you get very easily r equals to 13 and you got that radius of the or this, if this is the radius this employs diameter is 26 centimeter so the diameter of the circle which is having same area as equal to the sum of these two circles is going to have a diameter of 26 centimeter fine got it Chala. so 26 centimeter is the final answer okay people next question the next question says find the length of the arc of a circle of diameter 42 centimeter so diameter 42 means radius is going to be 21 centimeter so length of arc now i hope you remember that length of arc i have just now given the formula for that this is the length of arc and for this we got the formula theta by 360 into 2 pi r correct which subtend an angle of 60 degree at the center so at the center the angle uh, subtend an angle so angle at the center is 60 degree so theta is 60 degree at the center yeah now what do you have to do you have to find the length so length is equals to 60 by 360 into 2 pi is 22 by 7 radius is 21 solving it out this will get cancelled in 3 times 60 will cancel it in if I am not wrong 6 times 3 and 2 3 2's are 6 so this 3 2's are 6 and 6 will get cancelled you have got 22 only so that is 22 centimeter is the length of this arc cool got it so length of the arc is 21 centimeter simple oh, very sorry 22 centimeter so this is 22 centimeter i guess i have written that only yeah fine chalo let's move on to the next question here's the next next question says find the area of the sector of circle having radius 6 centimeter and of angle 30 degree so we have to find the area of sector area of sector pretty simple formula area is equals to theta by 360 into pi r square put the values theta you know it's 30 degree divided by 360 degree into pi is 22 by 7 and radius is square so radius is already given here 6 so this is 6 into 6 here the question says that don't take pi as 22 by 7 take it 3.14 so we'll have to take that this will get cancelled in 12 times <coughs> 6 will cancel it in 2 times, 2 will cancel this in 3 times. So you have 3 here and this entire thing has to be taken as 3.14. So you will have 3.14 into 3, hence answer is 9.42, 9.42. That is going to be your answer and hence very simply we got it 9.42, isn't it? Super simple, huh? Chalo, moving on to the next question, okay, this is an information for all of you. Those people who are liking the session and want to do revision along with me and other master teachers of Vedantu, guys, you are more than welcome. So how you can join me, how you can get in touch with me. 
so it's very simple you have to get into vedantu pro subscription course because in subscription course i take live sessions i clear doubts i teach students i talk to them it's like wow wow feel so in this pro subscription student gets an opportunity to clear their doubts get an personalized attention on the student from the teacher side you will be even able to get test and assignment in your login itself even the support for this and what not everything fine so all these comes in this pro subscription what do you have to do just one simple thing you have to go to the link which is given in the description box it must be looking like this vdnt.in/ytpro this is the link it would be given in the description as well click on this link get all the details check them out once you are satisfied then you move on to the payment page before clicking on proceed to pay use the coupon code hpe pro this coupon code will help you in getting in getting an extra 20% discount over the discounted price okay so just write down this coupon code somewhere apply this coupon code and then you will get be able to get into the sessions fine chalo so moving on here we go to the next question next question says the minute hand of a clock is 15 cm long okay so this is a circle minute hand is 15 cm long let it be like this 15 cm calculate the area swept by it in 20 minutes 20 minutes okay let me assume this is 12 this is 1 20 minutes means what how many digits so 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so 1 to 2 is 5 minutes 5 10 10 to 15 15 to 20 so at 5 this clock will come at 5 then it will swipe 20 minutes because minute hand works like this only now you have to tell me that from 1 to 5 what is the angle so people i hope you all are understanding that the entire angle is 360 degree isn't it so this 360 degree is divided among 12 digits 1 to 12 so this means that every digit holds 30 degree means from 1 to 2 30 degree 2 to 3 30 degree 30 degree 30 degree so all together four digits na so 4 into 30 this means the angle between these two minute hands is 120 degree so now you have to find the area of this sector having an angle 120 degree that's the question so let's find that area equals to theta upon 360 into pi pi is 22 by 7 into radius square isn't it and here in this case radius is 15 because length of the minute hand is 15 so just apply 15 into 15 very simply 120 will cancel it in 3 times 3 will cancel it in 5 times so you have got 5 into 15 into 22 by 7 or 3.14 whatever you feel more better i guess 3.14 more would be more better so 3.14 into 5 into 15 so very simply you will get 15.7 sorry you will get 15.7 into 15 so pretty simply you will get the answer believe me very very simple okay so just try it once you will get the answer fine people uh, if i am not wrong that should be 235 235.5 if i am not wrong this should be the multiplication let us see that 235.5 yeah i'm absolutely right man so 3.14 into 15 into 15 because this is going to cancel it in 3 times and this 3 will cancel it in 5 times so 5 into 15 into 3.14 this is the answer fine chalo moving on to the next question here is the next it says a chord of a circle of radius 10 cm subtends a right angle at the center find the area of the corresponding minor segment and major segment very simple let's do that so radius 10 cm fine area of minor segment now segment people please pay attention question says a uh, wait a second radius uh, a chord of a circle of radius 10 cm subtends right angle at the center so at the center the theta value is 90 degree isn't it it's 90 degree so what you have to do you simply apply the formula so area of minor segment always remember whatever formula i taught you it's all for minor either the sector or the segment area is for minor for major if you have to find you have to subtract that minor area from the area of circle that's the only method let me show you so area of minor segment area of minor segment is going to be first let me write the formula theta by 360 into pi r square this is the area of sector minus half R square sine theta, 
this is the formula for area of triangle apply that so this is 90 by 360 90 by 360 into pi pi here it has been said 3.14 has to be used into radius square so radius is given here 10 so that is 10 square minus half again 10 square into sine 90 why 90 because theta is 90 you have to simply calculate it 90 364 times 10 square is 100 100 into 314 that is 314 314 by 4 minus this sine 90 will be 1 sorry I hope you are understanding sine 90 is 1 so this is precisely 100 by 2 this is precisely 10 square that is 100 by 2 so what you got people you got very simple thing that if I am not wrong 314 so 75 and uh, 78.5 so this is 78.5 minus 50 and hence the final answer is 28.5 this is the area of minor segment people this is the area of minor segment now if once you get area of minor segment the first portion very easily what you can do you can find the major segment also so area of major segment is very simple that it is pi r square area of circle minus this 28.5 so this pi r square is nothing but 3.14 into radius square so this radius is given 10 so this is 10 square minus 28.5 10 square again 314 minus 28.5 and hence you will get the answer whatever like if i'm not wrong this should become 284 and 286.286 286.285.5 if i'm not wrong this should be the value let me just check okay 235 wait a second this is 28.5 yeah absolutely right we also got the same thing now they subtracted by mistake 78.5 which is wrong because 78.5 should not have been subtracted the subtraction part should have been 28.5 so here in 28.5 uh, you won't get 235.5 you'll get uh, what i have written this one 285.5 by mistake that has been done okay wait 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 this is major sector yeah i forgot it very sorry i forgot it this is major sector okay let me change the question itself so in case if this would have been major segment this is the answer for major segment this would have been the answer in case if that is major sector people major sector so that is area of circle minus area of minor sector that is this one theta uh, means uh, pi by 4 into r square quadrant now it is a quadrant so that is why this will be the answer so this is right for major sector i hope you understood what is the difference cool chalo if you understood so let's move on to the next question here's the next question says a chord of a circle of radius 15 centimeter so radius is given 15 substance an angle of 60 degree means theta is 60 at the center find the area of corresponding minor and major segments of the circle now here it is major segment okay so we have to find that so let's do that so first of all people this is a minor segment i'm just finding let me just find that area minor segment we all know the formula it's theta by 360 into pi r square and then minus half r square sine theta that is the formula mm -hmm. so theta by 360 precisely is it is 60 by 360 into pi has to be used as 3.14 into r square radius is given here 15 so that is 15 square minus half r square again 15 square into sine 60 because theta is given 60 cool 60 will cancel it in six times what we have got we have got 3.14 into 15 square upon 6 if you will calculate it if i am not wrong this should be 1.57 into uh, into if i'm not wrong like uh, three will cancel it in five times so five and 15 yeah this should be the value minus here it should be root three by two so two two five into the sine 60 will be root three by two so root three value is given here 1.73 so this is 1.73 by two and this two is already there so this calculation is a bit clumsy i can completely understand that but uh, really i can't help it here here you'll have to multiply it so people you'll have to multiply and i am just taking a easy path i'm showing you the solution so here see here this is pi r square into theta by 360 this is the area of sector so this is the area of sector after that it has to be subtracted from this half r square sine theta uh -huh. 
you will find this 97.313 subtract both of them and hence you get this value like uh, 117.75 minus 97.313 this is the area of minor segment area minor segment this is also written here here area of minor segment for major segment you have to do area of circle minus area of minor segment that what i was saying in the previous question so pi r not cube it's a square pi r square minus whatever we got here 20.437 you will subtract it you'll get the answer that's it got it Chalo. if you all get it that's great wonderful moving on so yes that was all for this session those people who like the video just hit the like button and those who want to join with me for their crash course and revision courses for their board preparations so people you are more than welcome and this is the best time because most of the students are joining the batches and batches are going to be soon completely full then admissions would be stopped or probably it would be given in another batches so this is the best time now what do you need to do you just need to go to the link which is given in the description box that would be written vdnt.in slash ytpro once you go to this link you will be able to find all the details at the time of payment you have to use a coupon code hpe pro this coupon code will allow you a 20 percent extra discount say for example right now the course in vedantu for one month is going on at 2700 rupees per month in this 2700 rupees per month if you apply the coupon code hpe pro you will get this course in 2159 rupees only okay similarly for the three month course the price right now in vedantu is 7000 rupees but if you apply the coupon code you'll get it in 5600 rupees isn't it balle balle huh so just use this coupon code apply this and then join the batch i will be very much happy to teach you and apart from that all the doubt supports are there doubt teachers are there doubt counters are there test and assignment and the most important that is personalized attention yo you get my personalized attention as well you'll be able to talk to me yeah why not cool fine people so that was all for this session folks see you all in the next session till then bye bye take care and do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel okay see you all in the next session till then bye bye good night good night